You might have seen my previous video on my off-grid hot water system. If not, perhaps have a look or there'll be a link in the description. Uh, on that video, someone asked me how long does it take for the water to heat up. So I've, I've been away for a few days. So I thought I'd come back and do this little video about heating times. Uh, so obviously at this time of year, um, the water collected outside is cold and me being away for a few days, the water in the holding tank is cold, will be cold as well. So I've just topped it up and I'll um, set it up and we'll uh, find out how long it takes. As you can see, the tank is full. I've just topped up with water from the IBC outside. So we're starting from a cold tank. And I filled this glass up with water. And I don't know if you can see there, it's about 11 degrees. So we'll start the fire now. And we'll get that going <clears throat> and we'll take a temperature of the water at a few intervals. So obviously time of year affects heating times. The water outside in the IBC will you know generally be the ambient temperature whatever it is that time of the year so perhaps 18 20 degrees maybe. In the winter, obviously, ambient temperatures are much lower. Last week it was regularly below zero, about minus five degrees, but now the last few days it's warmed up and it's actually about 10, 11 degrees outside. In winter time, it's often better for, for my hot water system because I'm here most of the time and the fire will be on from morning until late at night. So the holding tank temperature is often well up to temperature. Perhaps in the morning the, the temperature will still be in the 20 degrees. So starting the fire again in the morning, um, it very quickly gets back up to sort of 30, even 40 degrees. It's been two hours since I started the fire, it's been blazing away. So let's take the water temperature again. I filled up, just filled up this glass. So let's have a look at the thermometer. And that says, ooh, 22 degrees. Not bad. Considering the, everything was cold and it takes, takes a bit to get it going. So let's check after four hours. Four hours have passed now and I filled this glass about 20 seconds ago. Let's have a look at the temperature and that's saying 32 degrees. More than warm enough to have a shower by now, I would have thought. Six hours have passed now. As you can see, the tank is still full and you can feel the warmth coming through it. And I think this is um, HDPE plastic and it's uh, food grade or water potable grade so it's safe and doesn't leach out nasties into the water. Okay, I filled up this glass again with the thermometer. And so after six hours, starting with 11 degrees water, it's now at 35 degrees. Time for a shower, I think. <laughs> 